Welcome to the 21st video in the Metric Math Water Wastewater YouTube series. This video will help explain how to find the over under percentage error for a particular meter. Whenever we take a look at a meter, there's always a certain amount of trust that one places in the meter. How close is it to perfection? For example, if you know that 250 cubic meters of water flowed out of a tank, but the meter says that only 220 cubic meters of water flowed through that pipe, then obviously there's a difference between what you know and what the meter is saying. So what we're going to try and find out in this video, how close the accuracy and the percentage error of a meter is. So that's our background. We want to find out what does percentage error mean. The formula for a percentage error is relatively simple. It's the difference from what you know is perfectly true to what your meter is saying. If your meter is saying more than what you know is true, then it's a positive percentage error. If the meter is less than you know what is true, then it's a negative percentage error. Let's take a look at a sample problem. A water tank measures 6.8 meters in diameter, 4.35 meters in height, a pump switches on to empty the tank, and the water level in the tank drops 135 centimeters in 2 hours and 25 minutes. The flow meter records the flow of water from the tanks, and it shows a reading of 8,725.18 cubic meters at the start, and 8,771.54 cubic meters at the end. Find the percentage error of this meter. Well, there's some keywords in here that you need to pick up on. First keyword is diameter. So that tells you the shape of the tank as well as its dimension. And it's 6.8 meters in diameter. Second piece of information that's important is how much the water dropped. And that distance is 135 centimeters or 1.35 meters. Now notice we're only worried about how much the water dropped. We're not concerned about the height of the tank because it doesn't tell you that the tank is completely full. The starting meter reading, when the water first started to pump out of the tank, the meter said that up until that point, 8,725.18 cubic meters of water had moved past that point in the line. At the end of this particular time period, there was 8,771.54 cubic meters had moved. And so we'll be able to find the difference of that. That's how much the water dropped in that time period. There's some distractors in this initial information. Well, the first distraction is the height of the tank, 4.35 meters in height. Again, it doesn't tell you if that tank is completely full, it's completely empty, but the information does say that the water dropped 135 centimeters or 1.35 meters in that time period. This 4.35 meter in height, that's a distractor. We can get rid of that. The second distractor is two hours and 25 minutes. It's got nothing to do with it. Who cares? If we would have been asked to find your cubic meters per minute or cubic meters per hour, well, then it would have been important. But for this particular piece of information, we're just referring to the accuracy of how much water this particular meter is measuring in total. So those are the two distractors that are trying to you know, take us down the garden path in the wrong direction. What is the question asking to find the percentage error or how close is this meter to the factual amount? Now, one thing you have to remember about this particular tank, the diameter can't change. Like you can't physically go out there and stretch a tank. It just, it doesn't matter. So the diameter is set. The height is what changed, and that was a result of the water leaving the tank. So that's the one that we need to be concerned with. So now, when we have found the percentage error, we'll be able to find how close is this tank to accurately measuring a volume of water. Let's now take a look at the second step. How much water actually left the tank? Now, we know the diameter is 6.8 meters. And we know that the height, the water drop, was 135 centimeters or 1.35 meters. Now, I'm not going to go through how to find the volume of the cylinder that was done in an earlier video. So let's just assume that this formula is correct. And when you punch the numbers through, the volume by calculation, and again, the diameter can't change unless you go through a major building project, and it doesn't say anything about that in the question. So the volume we know to be correct as 49.003 meters. We can trust that value. That is our most confident level. That's the trusted value. 
The next part in this question is what does the meter say in terms of the volume that the water moved uh, out of the tank? Now the meter reading at the end was 8,771.54 cubic meters. So that at the end of the time period, that's how much water moved past the meter. At the beginning of that time period, the volume was 8,725.18. So you take the difference between that and the answer is 46.36. So the meter said in that time period, 46.36 cubic meters passed out of the tank. Now, obviously, this particular number is different than the number that we know for a fact, but we are hoping that this number is as close as possible to our accepted value. So this is our hopeful or our experimental value. Now we take a look at the percentage accuracy. And for this particular calculation, we take a look at what we hoped the volume was by going through the uh, starting and ending reading of the meter, and that was 46.36 cubic meters. And we compare that or divide that by the volume that we had earlier calculated based on the diameter and the height of the water. That was 49.003. So those two numbers will tell us how close our meter is to perfection. Now this is a percentage value and it works out to about 94.61% accuracy. So that's, it's, you know, it's 94% is you know, not too bad. Now percentage error tells you how close it is to perfection. And it's just a simple subtraction. We know that our target is 100%. We want to be perfect. So 100% minus the accuracy, which was 94.61% accuracy, and that works out to an over-under. In this case, the meter was less accurate than perfection. It was 5.39% under. Now, if that meter would have read a value higher, then it would have been whatever that difference was, but it would have been over. Thanks for watching this math video. Please check out the other videos in this channel. Put in some comments and pass this site on to any other water or wastewater students who you feel could benefit from it. Goodbye for now and have a good day.